Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be an energy check-in love reading for my dearest Sagittarius. Sagittarius, we're going to take a look at the person most on your mind or your current situation. And if these messages resonate with you, I am going to ask that you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what clear messages, advice, and guidance come through for my dearest Sagittarius for their highest and greatest good. Ooh, we've got the fool showing up in reverse. Okay, so somebody here might be feeling foolish. Maybe, you know, fools rushed in here type energy. Let's see. Mm, your person nine of cups in reverse. Ooh, yeah. I actually feel like you've got somebody who is a bit in and out here, or maybe this burned really hot, really fast. They see you as the king of pentacles. Their true intentions towards you are the four of swords. Heads up. Because this can be a lazy energy, somebody that doesn't want to do the work, but they see that you have a lot to offer. And your advice is the seven of wands in reverse. Now, sometimes this can be an energy of letting your guard down. But to be honest, Sag, I'm reading the seven of wands in reverse as picking your battles, cutting your losses. It can also be about pushing someone away. And we get the king of cups in reverse. I think you've got somebody here that's not quite emotionally available. Um, I know these might not be the messages that you want to hear, but a lot of my Saggies, this might be somebody that you're recently talking to or recently met. There's there's definitely some red flags here. I don't like the Four of Swords showing up here as their true intentions. Although we'll see, because this can indicate somebody that wants to heal things with you. But to me, I, initially, I really got that this person is a bit lazy or they, they see that you have a lot to offer or they see you, you know, King of Pentacles energy being very generous and putting in the work. And it's like, what about them, right? So the fool energy, this person might lack emotional intelligence is what I'm getting or acted foolishly. Yep, you gotta be careful here, Sag. Yes, all right. Wheel of Fortune in reverse, King of Wands in reverse. Big, big red flag here with this person. Possibly an Aries, maybe another fire sign, Leo or Sag. But I do feel that spirit has intervened in this connection for a reason. And with the nine of cups in reverse, this is somebody who probably walked away, probably very nonchalantly. Maybe they ghosted or they just kind of did the fade away. But the nine of cups in reverse tells me that this person, they're around for a good time, not a long time. They could be a Leo. Yeah. Wow. All right. This person, you know, I feel they really sabotaged a soulmate connection, although I'm not sure that Maybe some of you feel that way. I feel this is definitely more of a karmic soulmate situation. Hmm. This person I'm hearing may have gone back to an ex for some of you or someone they were dealing with previously. I feel this person's actually been quite beat up in love or traumatized in love. Again, I'm not making excuses for them, but they have an imbalanced solar plexus chakra. This is somebody who's lacks direction and focus strength and courage. So again, I feel like they probably took a coward's way out. They want you to chase them. They want you to offer. They want you to put in the work, Sag. And yeah, they see you pushing them away and they see you as the empress. That's your energy. This You're out of this person's league, Sagittarius. I'm just going to be really honest with you. You are out of this person's league and they it might seem like or they might try to tell other people like that they played you or it might kind of come across that way, but no way. This person has a lot of fear-based energy. This person sees that you do really well for yourself. They see that you're an empress energy. I mean, she's the best of the best. And this person, they've got a long way to go before they're even in your tier. All right. So let's see the four of swords, this person's true intentions towards you. Oh, okay. We get the hierophant and the two of pentacles. Yeah. But this person, I'm telling you, they want their cake and to eat it too. They want commitment. They want to be in a connection with you. But with the two of pentacles, they're not willing to put something down. They don't want to leave other options behind. They don't want to put in the work. No way. No way. I just see this person, they want to lock it down. But they, they're expecting more from you than they're willing to give to this connection. And it's a huge heads up here, Sag. I feel with the seven of wands, you've probably, because you're in empress mode, and again, that doesn't mean that you're not you're not an emperor. Remember, my readings are not gender specific. 
But you're in empress mode and she's not going to chase. She's not going to hang out in a situation where she doesn't know where she stands with someone or somebody who's wishy-washy with her. But the seven of wands in reverse tells me advice. You push this person away for a reason because they weren't pulling their weight. All right. And yep, there it is. Six of pentacles in reverse and somebody not pulling their weight. But don't worry. Everything's working out for you. Yeah. And with the world card, there's a cycle coming to an end here. And I think, I think Spirit's showing you very clearly that this was somebody that you were meant to learn lessons from. Hopefully you didn't, you know, hang out in their energy too long or allow them into your energy too long. Everything's working out in your favor. Okay. So let's see. What else do we need to know about this person for my Sagittarius? Brilliant beliefs, luminous life for force and personal power. Now, normally this is a really beautiful card, but I'm reading this as pure ego energy. And I see that with the strength in reverse. This person's got quite an ego and, and quite frankly, it's, it's not well-deserved. Okay. And we have your energy or your advice is portal, infinite mind, awakening consciousness. It's also a number one. So it's about new beginnings. Yeah. So I also think this is looking at the infinite possibilities that are open to you. And I also feel with awakening consciousness, this has been a karmic lesson, a tough karmic lesson for some of you. And we see deep emotions. Some of you, you were embroiled with this person. I do think they were quite charismatic. Again, probably seemed really great on paper or I feel like they were, they're quite charismatic, quite suave, but I think when you really get to know this person, they have a lot of fear-based energy with that strength card. And, and I think a lot of it comes down to them not being in your league, Sag. All right, let's see what else we need to know about them at this time. They do want to work on things and they're probably going to message you and let you know, but Spirit's saying, obviously the choice is yours, Sag, but there's a lot of red flags. There's a lot of heads up here. Your energy, endings bring new beginnings, growth, change, and liberation. A lot of you, you've liberated yourself from this. And have faith, love is coming. Coming. Someone who maybe you work with or is in your community, but with the three of pentacles here, it's someone who is going to be really compatible with you. Somebody who's in your, in, in, in your same frequency. And this person is certainly going to be coming back around. But again, the choice is going to be yours, Sag, if that's a good idea for you or not. Okay, and I think a lot of you can hear the message that Spirit's showing you that this person, they're going to they're gonna let you know they're thinking about you. They're going to send you messages. Um, but at the same time, you need to see if this is, this is what you want. Does this benefit you? Um, and not obviously just in those terms, but is this healthy for you? All right, what they would like to say to you, I don't know why I let you go. I've been depressed lately. Things have been really hard. Yep. Because they're reaping the consequences of their actions. And I need to own up to where I fell short in this relationship. Right. But I think the big question mark here, Sag, is can they? Will they? They'll probably talk the talk, but are they going to back that up with action? And we see, I wanted to play the field and now look at where that got me nowhere. So a lot of you player energy, player alert. And sometimes I'm wondering if saying I'm sorry is enough. And truthfully, it doesn't feel like it is, Sag. It really doesn't feel like it's enough. It feels like, you know, they'd have to do a lot more to get into your good graces here. Okay, so I know these may not be the messages that you want to hear, but I, and I know there's some very, very deep emotions attached to this connection. But Sag, I feel like Spirit saying, you know what? It's, you know, you've made the right decision. Have faith, love is coming. And I want to see with whom. Who is this new love or this new person of interest that you're showing us? Somebody who may be a counselor. So they're good at mediating situations. They help people get through difficult times. All right. So it's just like a really balanced person. All right. They could be another Sagittarius or have strong Sag placements. And we see that is somebody, oh, that's double Sag energy for me. But this is someone who maybe travels a lot or has traveled a lot. You may meet them traveling. They have great stories to tell about their travels. And most likely they've got Sagittarius placements here. We also see Libra energy. Wow. So both of these cards, Counselor is my Libra card and Traveler is my Sag card. So we get strong. It could be a Libra coming your way or somebody with strong Libra Sag placements. This is what you're meant to hold out for. 
this is the energy that my Saggy should be focused on. I think you've already made this decision. I think you've already started moving forward. I think this person um, is going to try to come back into your life or maybe holding you back. But Spirit's saying, you know, there's limitless possibilities here, Sag. And you've got something really beautiful and compatible headed your way. All right, so I'm going to leave it there. If these messages resonate with you, I am going to ask that you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading or if you like the cards I'm using, or if you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Love and light, Sagittarius. Take care.